Can you hear me now? Can I hear you? Ah, ah. Oh, Well, it looks like maybe you can't hear me. If um, anyone can hear me, drop me a chat. But I'm going to hop on the live and see what's going on. Oh, I can hear me. OK. Well, the thing that I always look at to see if I can hear myself, uh, apparently, is not the thing I should be looking at. Well, welcome. I see there's at least one other person watching. Oh, got to get my cape fully activated. Uh, my friend Annie Temink gave me this um, hood cape. And as you can see, I've got my stunt double in the back. Um, and I thought that would give you, I noticed somebody else streaming had a mirror involved, so I thought I would play around with mirrors so that way you can see a little bit extra of what I'm doing. How are you? I'm just trying to get centered, relaxed, because my voice sounds better when I do that. But yeah, I was just making a post about the song Ever So Lonely slash Eyes slash Ocean. <laughs> it's a funny song name. But um, yeah, it's a song that I have always loved since I first heard it. And I was just realized I could probably play it with um, much ease and enjoyment. So I thought I would start with that. And just get a little vibe going, like a vibe. The artist is Sheila Chandra. I've mentioned her before. My song Desert Bloom is inspired by this kind of music. She does like a fusion of her ancestors, which is Indian, like Hindu sounding stuff. And what else? Oh, yeah. Irish. She's uh, I think she lives in Ireland or England now. Crazy story. She lost her voice. She, if she sings, she experiences horrible pain. I was just talking about how, like with me, I used to really identify with playing guitar. I was a guitar teacher full time, pretty much um, between, well, okay, part time guitar teacher, part time gigging. And just, I was just playing guitar all the time. And eventually my body was like, never again. We are going to give you so much pain if you play guitar. So I can relate to her story of not being able to sing, but oh, God forbid. But um, yeah, I think sometimes these things that we identify, we over identify with, we have to, it's like a big life lesson to learn to let them go and make room for something that maybe suits us better. Um, or just that is more part of our purpose, or maybe part of our purpose was to experience that little ego death of like, ah, you thought this was the thing you were doing with your life and that was who you were, but no, you're bigger than that. You're better than that. <laughs> no, I don't know. Anyways, now I'm just rambling. So let's do this.
I thought I would go with some panpipes today. Taking a deep breath, take it with me now. solo ever so lonely without you ever so
we are. A little more present than we were before, hopefully. Um, don't see any chats, so drop me a line if you're watching. I can't see the number, um, but I will assume someone's watching. <laughs> I am getting a little toasty in my polyester cape. Oh, I haven't tried that before. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. There we are. I'm hoping having a mirror there will help me have better posture. Um, it's kind of weird, but I, I've been on this holistic dentistry journey with my palate and where my tongue position, it's a whole thing, oral myofunctional therapy. And um, yeah, check out Dr. Mew and Mewing if you're curious to see some of the highly experimental results people have gotten. Um, it actually improves your facial structure. It's like all natural plastic surgery, but you have to put in a lot of work if you are not a, an extremely small child because they have like very flexible mouths. Let me turn let me turn myself up a little bit while I'm talking. I'm sorry. Um Yeah, anyways, dental journey. I forget why I was brought that up. Oh yeah, so when I was a child, if I was like mouth breathing at night and probably during the day, instead of keeping my tongue on the roof of my mouth, which would have pushed my facial structure forward, I have kind of like a, a bit of a flat a flat snout which is cool it's cool but yeah not quite enough room for my tongue unfortunately um but I'm doing I'm doing pretty well all things considered it could be a lot worse um um but yeah sorry I'm very spacey after that song Ooh, maybe I should just surrender to it <sighs> I probably should try to learn how to speak from my heart. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. But it sounds like a worthwhile goal, right? Speak when you feel moved through the heart hole. <laughs> uh, oh, yes. So if if my mouth and jaw had developed properly, I think my jaw would have been more forward, um, which makes sense. And it's funny, when I jut my jaw forward, my posture improves. Like I feel like standing up and... My shoulders go back a little bit. Like I just get really centered around my core. But my jaw is not naturally jutting forward. So I often like slip into, I don't know, you can see it's like a little more arch, uh, a little more like, I don't know, just not, not the best posture. It's not bad posture, but it's not the best. I like to be the best if I can try, try to be the best. So anyways, we can, I'll keep an eye on my posture. <laughs> oh, wow. That just... Did that just clip? Ah! Hehehe. <laughs> I don't know. Something just made a weird noise. I'm going to ignore it. Um, but yes, if you're watching, leave me a little heart or a smile. I'm not seeing any chats yet. And Mama likes her chats. Another song you've probably... Uh, not heard me play unless you've been following a lot of my live streams is this song coming home to myself um, inspired by Garth Stevenson I believe is his name and he does these really wonderful cello scapes um, and he even did a soundtrack to a movie that made a big impression on me about a woman in the outback but yeah Garth Stevens or Stevenson I can't remember uh, he's got songs like about, it has like a bird on the front of the cover and it's like flying is one of the songs. But anyways, this song has been evolving and I just wrote lyrics for it yesterday. So I wasn't expecting, I tried writing lyrics two other times and I just started crying. <laughs> I just, it was too much. Um, but yeah, it's about uh, coming home to yourself 
which I feel like I've been doing lately at different moments, different minutes and hours, just overall learning to feel better in my skin, trust myself, follow my intuition, all these things that like I've always heard are good, but I didn't know how to achieve. And if you can relate to that, just know that if you keep you know, facing your demons and embracing them, greeting them as friends, as Aurora says, um, you can learn to step into that kind of presence more and more where you can just, it's almost like I used to dream, well, I still dream. <laughs> I used to dream about finding a true love. You know, when you're a kid, you watch these Disney movies and think, oh, if I just meet the right person, I'll feel so in in touch with my heart and radiant and tr in trust and relaxed and excited and adventurous. Like some, it kind of, you kind of get set up for thinking that you're going to find that. And I mean, you can like right when you fall in love, it, it does feel amazing, but I think there's like potential to have that with yourself. And I think it, it, for some of us, it's a lifelong journey of learning how to, come home to ourselves.
even now I can feel the ground I can feel the sound New song, new song energy. (laughs) When I was um, interested in polyamory, there's something called new relationship energy that someone has if they fall in love while they're in an old relationship. Um, Fun fact about polyamory. But um, yeah, that's why I said new song energy. I get kind of that like, oh, exciting. I'm not seeing any comments, which is totally cool. You guys can lurk love that love lurkers but just in case there's something wrong I'm just gonna check and see if I'm missing some chats (laughs) 
I got a new iPhone. Finally, my old phone died. Pretty close to dying. I thought I had YouTube pulled up here. Old phone. Uh, let's see. How are we doing? Okay, we got a few a few watchers. We got some some quiet quiet watchers. I was thinking about since I've been really wanting to just make like extremely ambient meditative music. Um, I think about calling it music for people who like silence. <laughs> Whenever I write gratitude lists, I always put at the top, like, it's quiet. No one's bothering me. Although it's kind of hilarious because when I love somebody, I constantly talk to them. So um, I don't know what that means. That I guess I'm really grateful that I'm not surrounded by someone like me. Well, I appreciate some of you are just listening to this in the background while you work, so I will forgive you for not <laughs> commenting, but now I know there's someone watching, which is nice. I am talking so quietly. I don't actually talk this quietly in real life. Why? I'm just tired because I stayed up late watching The Foundation last night. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good show about space stuff. Good enough that I was willing to break my bedtime. Uh, I'm becoming one of those people who wants a bed, a bedroom TV, which I never thought I would be, but it would be nice to just have grown up bedtime story. And like, I always get so tired watching TV last thing at night, have it just set a little timer or something. I don't know, make it turn off at the end of the episode. Anyways, now I, yeah, I just sound like an old person that I want to, <laughs> Hey, nothing wrong with being an old person. Getting older is a privilege and an honor and an achievement reframe but um yeah I'm a little sleepy it's a cloudy day which I like Irish weather feels good nice fall day but not too cold obviously not too cold not not sweatered up today okay those are the two songs I was excited to play maybe to fit with this mood I will also play my Harry Styles cover um I don't know if you've heard it. I have a version of it on YouTube that I very roughly recorded by myself, which I was proud of at the time. Still still proud of, but now I'm like, ooh, I could definitely do that better. The constant journey of a musician. Um, otherwise, let me know if you have any requests. I have a lot of songs I should probably run through because I have two shows this weekend. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like playing this one. I just transposed it. Maybe that was a bad idea, because did I write down the chords anywhere? I don't think I did. I'll play the old chords. Seems you 
you can I'd be replaced And I'm the one who must stay Pick up the phone Hurry, you know good and long Why are you sitting alone on the floor? What kind of pills are you on? Ringing the bell
nice to hear a version of that song that's like so opposite of how it was recorded and it's so popular. Oh, oh maybe you can see my mouth a little more if I stand like that. <laughs> Constant experimenting with my ankles and my everything. Um, yeah, it's nice to see a song that can handle going really fast and a beat and pop and can also handle being like enyified. <laughs> it's the mark of a good song if it can be used in multiple genres and tempos and such. <sighs> well, I think I am just about ready for my nap to catch up on staying up late. I feel like my energy lately has been dipping down during these live streams, but I think honestly, I was a bit nervous when I started live streaming. So that was part of it. I was just like full of adrenaline um, and, and new relationship energy. I think I'm like been gigging all year, feeling a lot, not like burnt out, but just It's like the food isn't spicy anymore. Like I need more spice. So maybe I need to switch it up. I've been um, thinking about maybe someday somehow having some dancers perform with me. Obviously not during my live streams. I do like the live streams because I can experiment a little more. When I'm performing, it feels like I'm showcasing something that I've worked on. Although I have been wanting to do some live looping. So maybe I'll practice that right now. <gasps> oh my God. Maybe I'm spicing it up, you guys. I, I'm, well, I guess when I'm sleepy, I'm like more blind. My eyes are really blurry. I also um, seem to be moving further away from the camera. <laughs> it's because all this was getting in the way of my being able to access my desk, but I think I could scooch it. I, sh I should try scooching it a little forward. That would be nice for you guys to like see into my eyeballs. Um, I still don't see any chats. You guys are so shy. That's okay. I love you still. I, I have been known not to comment myself. It's fine. Um, it is more fun for me when I can converse, but Maybe it makes me talk even more, which is not why we're here. Uh, speaking of, yes, I'm about to do some live looping. Let's see how this goes. I only have this and this attached. Attached. Um, so it's probably going to be extremely ethereal. I have nothing prepared for this. Well, I had two new songs that I really haven't looked at, but those were kind of like live looped. Maybe I can find them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't feel like working on that song, um, but that gave me an idea of kind of what we're going for.
Hey, you're here, and I'm glad you chose to be me. Before you give up, why don't you get up and walk with me? Tell me your story Hey, that's my story too Promise me No matter what you do You'll see your calling A beautiful day Hey Out under the waves You might drown Let my sound Lift you up To float on the water top a little bit thrilling for me I guess I wrote a new song oh goodness I'm gonna fill up this thing's memory and then what will we do You can see now my conundrum in trying to record all my songs because I'm always writing new songs and I'm always working on the old songs to make them different. I think there might be something to this live looping thing. Maybe I should just surrender. Um, my friend was inviting me to start brainstorming more music videos and I was like, I'm just not that into planning and executing. I feel like my special gifts might be more in the improvisational line of work. I'm good at cracking jokes on the spot. Um, if you like my weird intricate humor that I share with my loved ones. And um, what else? I like writing. Like the more I edit, the worse my writing gets. So I just try to write how I think and talk. Hope for the best. Um, yeah, I think there's something there. It would be weird to only live loop, but maybe maybe one per show. Maybe at the end is like, okay, 
we know each other well enough that if I create something that isn't perfect um, and that you've never heard before, you're still going to like it. Yeah, let me know. Um, I don't know. Maybe I accidentally turned off the comments or something. Because usually I have like at least somebody says hi. But it's cool. I didn't send out my newsletter. So that's on me for not following through with my usual. But I did garden today. I moved some compost. Um, I felt like such a diligent gardener because I was like compost, putting compost under all my plants uh, before the winter comes as like, a, just like sprinkling fairy dust, but it was like bits of old food. <laughs> I'm that kind of fairy, the black gold. Um, yes, but I was mostly doing it to make way for more food waste scraps because our compost pile is full. I've never done the sprinkling of compost technique and there was definitely some stuff in there that wasn't fully composted and it was gross. I don't know what exactly I touched, but there were some squishy things that had not <laughs> fully biodegraded. So be warned if you try to sprinkle compost like fairy dust, you may encounter some, some, ha some hazards. Well, I think this is a wrap. My voice is a little fatigued, a little tired just like the rest of me today but i hope this was calming and interesting and if you're watching the playback thank you for your time i mean everybody thank you for your time um yeah this was cool i feel like sometimes when we power through the difficult things like the things that aren't working if we stay present and like ask the right questions of ourselves and stay open, like stay curious of like, how could this be more fun? Or how could I spice this up? Because I think that if you don't know what your purpose is, it probably has to do with something creative, because I think that's what makes humans really special out of all the animals. I mean, other animals are like probably creative in their own way, but obviously humans have a very creative drive as we go off to colonize other planets. Um, mm. when I do a live stream, I love doing this. I don't know. Maybe it's like a stretch. What am I doing? It feels really good. It kind of turns me into like a little heart, a little heart shape. That's it. Like, mm. yeah, maybe it's like, it's kind of like a hug. Hmm. It is comforting. <laughs> I'm comforting myself. <laughs> if only I could wrap my arms. Well, actually I can. Ugh. That's, um, uh, not that comfortable. <laughs> This is why we hug each other, which is why you have to come to one of my shows if you can. Um, plug for those. I'm playing at my farm, <laughs> my favorite farm, Verdant Acres in Rafine, Virginia tomorrow, but only CSA members are invited. So that's your excuse, your reason to get on their CSA for next year. So you can come to one of their events and hear me play. Um, hopefully I'll do it again um, because they pay me in produce and meat, which is what, which is why I am here and healthy. I eat their amazing, healthy, high vibe foods. Um, they deliver to Lexington, Virginia and Stanton and Charlotte. Maybe not Charlottesville, maybe just Crozet. You should double check their website. Not sure about that, but um, yeah. They're so nice and very idealistic, which is, which I am too. So I just, we just throw money at them and they throw amazing food at us. And then after that, I'm playing a house show in Charlottesville, which I mentioned. It's like going to be a picnic in a meadow, but it's invite only. So get in touch with me if you can. And you, if you really want to come, um, email and text are the best, but I will be checking my social media messages shortly. Um, or yeah, if you have my number, you can text me. That's the best way to get in touch with me. I don't know if I should drop my number on the internet, but I guess why not? Um, yeah, 434-373-0001. <laughs> I might regret that, but I can always block you. <laughs> yeah. The only thing is like, I can't keep up with all of my messages on my phone because then I start to get really ADD. So, yeah, I might not 
I kind of just do like most important business interactions on the phone. So it's not really a good place to like start a really long, super, super long chat with me forever, but, um, we can exchange some info and have a, have, have a tete a tete if you do text me. Um, and after that, I'm playing Stanton Jams in Stanton, Virginia, and they bumped me up from the noon set to the 3 p.m. set. So, <laughs> um, yeah, playing at Ciders from Mars, like right outside of that brewing company in Stanton. And um, that's going to be awesome. I am definitely going to be wearing my Gaia goddess crown. Um, hopefully it won't fall off because I'm dancing around too much. <laughs> so come, come see the event where I try not to lose my crown. Um, those are my big, big upcoming shows. And then I'm doing a yoga class on the solstice in or around the solstice in December in Charlottesville. So keep, keep tuned for that. That's at common house. Um, I, oh yeah. And I'm playing in Harrisonburg on the 20th, I believe at pale fire again and this time i'm going to use a monitor so i can hear myself even though i can hear myself really loudly in the speakers because it's so echoey i can't actually hear myself like cleanly so i figured out i do need a monitor i need to provide that for myself but um yeah monitor is just a fancy word for speaker pointed at the musician so they can hear themselves so you can monitor your sound um Okay, um, I don't know if I had anything else to say. It's hard when no one's in the chat. I'm still wondering if I did something wrong, but i um, just gonna assume y'all are chillin' and I'm sending my love. Let me know what you thought of the live stream, uh, live looping thing. If you liked it, I can try to do it more because that was, pretty fun for me but yeah it would be scary doing it at like like a big performance like a big festival set just like live looping something but I could probably have a vague idea of what I was gonna do that would that would probably work have like um like a framework of a song and then just plug in Maddie plays guitar um before bed a lot which is really sweet and calming and beautiful and he has like song sketches that he's always like it's like motifs so he'll just come back to that motif and play something related to it which is really cool because then even as a listener you don't get bored um although if it's your favorite song and then you never hear it again that could be sad i guess there's something to be said for both kinds of music live and uh recorded or set and fluid Anyways, uh, have a wonderful, beautiful weekend. And if you haven't checked out my new single, Children's Children, it's at anmara.bandcamp.com. And Anmara is spelled A-N-M-A-R-A. And I have a new mastered single that I don't know what to do with, but I'm probably going to post it on Patreon soon. That's patreon.com slash Annabeth Sings. Still Annabeth Sings because like, it's still me. And all the links had there. Cyril. Uh, yeah, I gotta, I might change that eventually. But for now, it's just Stand of Us Things. Because it's still me, you guys. Even though it's extra. Yeah. I feel like that last song felt like on Mara. Because on Mara, to me, I didn't feel this way when I made up the name. But it reminds me of like a magical, mystical land. So I feel like I was, when I create a soundscape... We're like entering into Anmara. <laughs> so thank you for going on the journey to Anmara with me. And I bow to you. And I thank the universe for all the blessings of this weird life. Seriously though. So many blessings. Just gotta count them. Mm. Okay. Love you guys. Be well. Get some rest. I'm talking to myself in the camera. <laughs>